Hello and welcome to CIA. My name is Mank and in this video I am going to uh, show you how you can import some contact and deal association or contact or company association or deal or company association. Basically uh, in this video what I am going to discuss is how you can import data along with the association and uh, you can do this for the new data as well as for existing data so you can update them also so I'm in the hub spot and uh, here uh, first you have to go to this this setting icon and in there you will find import and export options click on this then uh, you click on go to imports then in the import you have to select import I'm choosing the file uh, because I'm uploading from CSV uh, okay so next so here uh, you can choose if you have one file or multiple file with association if uh, uh, you have to import say uh, say you are importing contacts and companies and uh, you want to associate them uh, and they are from different file so you can choose this option I have just one file because I'm only want to uh, I only want to import association so I'm using the one file option next in the one file I want to uh, work with the multiple objects so I'm going to choose multiple object then in this case what I want to do is I want to import deal and contact association so I will click on both of them next step it will ask you to choose a file so I am choosing the file select so in this file I have few columns and uh, next step I will show you the columns so here so if you are importing a deal uh, there are basic uh, uh, some of the basic properties that you want to uh, use and that is deal name deal stage and pipeline these are necessary if you are working with a deal import and uh, then uh, these are the other few columns which I don't need so I will just mark them as ignore okay and finally this column is the contact record ID how the contact uh, ID is stored in HubSpot and this is the same for deal so I'm calling them sync app ID so that's why HubSpot deal sync app ID and HubSpot contact sync app ID so in this case yeah here I will mark this as deal record and this one I will mark as contact record okay so that's it that's uh, what you need to do so uh, just be sure that your deal ID part is uh, unique here and these are the contact IDs which we want to associate them so next step I'm going and clicking next you can name this whatever you want so I will just name this deal contact association import okay and then finally just finish report so here it will show you all the imports as well as uh, the associations which are being created so import rows are here and now it is creating the associations okay so in this case as you can see the number of association is more than the number of deals record that might be because uh, more than one contact can be associated with a deal so that's it um, just to verify this I can go to uh, the deals and see some options so my deals I will apply some of the filters like I know that my quotation type is um, MSP and I want to see if there is any associated contact so before this uh, there was no associated contact so I'm just applying the filter and here I can see the contact has been associated uh, just to verify I want to show you these IDs in the system also so let's say deal ID and I'm opening this column So this is just one row uh, with the association okay so I hope this was easy and uh, you understand how you can import the associations uh, so see you in the next video please don't forget to like subscribe and uh, see you next time